What a mess we had. Now this is just a look at some of the uh, damage that was left behind yesterday. Heavy winds, rain, trees down throughout the area, some power lines being taken down. But it was actually the lightning associated with last night's storm that is being blamed for a fire in Bel Air, which caused tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage. WMER 2 News Jeff Hager spoke with a homeowner today about what happened. Just as he was retiring to bed, Brian Adkins heard the sound of thunder booming outside. And moments later, his wife yelled up to him from the ground floor that the garage was on fire. So I come running down, and I got the hose right here, and there was flames all back there. And all I did, I was just taking the hose and, and trying to keep the fire contained and, and keep it out. Once firefighters arrived on the scene, it only took them about five minutes to extinguish the flames. Investigators would later learn what the Adkins suspected, that somehow lightning had struck near the house and had caused the fire. What caused the fire was actually the lightning traveling through his electrical wiring, maybe even some piping into his home, uh, striking a power strip, uh, which surged, uh, ignited nearby combustibles, and of course that just spread to the other uh, items within the garage. Now Adkins is looking at a lengthy repair and damage estimated at $50,000. But he's counting himself lucky since he saved his beloved Harley from the garage and kept the fire from spreading all thanks to his wife's vigilance in the midst of the storm. It was funny because I told my wife, I said, come on, let's go to bed. She's like, now I'm going to watch the news. I'm going to see what's going on with the storms because all the alarms, all the alerts went off for the tornado. So she's like, I'm going to see what happens with that and then... That's what happened. I went to bed, she came back down, or she's hollering at me, telling me to get up the garage on fire. In Harford County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.